I have to go get um, some breakfast. And I left my toothbrush at home. So, I had to go buy a toothbrush. And all of that. So, yeah. Kennedy. Good mommy. Come here so I can tie him. Come sit in this chair. In the cap? No, it was on that dresser. Oh, what dresser? Right there. Right there? Yeah. You're not a creepy dresser. You know we need to buy a computer. You can put this jacket on. Kalani can put this jacket on.
Hey y'all, so it's been like a couple of days since the last clip of me being at the hotel on a little vacation somewhat after Christmas. But I came back and I just felt really icky because my hair was just so damaged from my quick weave that I did last week before Christmas. So here I am doing some crochet butterfly locks. Um, I washed my hair the night before. I did a deep treatment with um, Apogee products. And I blow dried my hair. This is me combing it out. And I'm just going to do butterfly locks crocheted. Now mind you, this is my first time ever doing this. This is my first time using this tool. First time using this hair. First time doing this braid method. I just literally looked on YouTube and I copied one girl on YouTube and did the braid, braid down. So... This is me basically doing crochet locks for the first time, beginner wise, I'm guessing, because that's what her video said. So this is me beginner wise doing the crochet locks. Um, so yeah, just, you know, you can do it a different way or you can follow this method. It's up to you, honestly, but this is how I did it. So I'm going to be parting my hair in two sections. The front section is not as wide as the back section. The front section I'm going to do plaques. Um, depending on the size of the front section, it could be two in the front, three, four, it really depends. But I'm going to do plaques in the back and just add them back together. And then the back I'm just going to do like, you know, cornrows in the back. I could have did this a different way, especially with the back, just because my braids were too big. But you live and you learn. So next time I do this style, it'll be much smaller braids in the back. And I was kind of in a rush. You know, I have kids. They were in the back screaming, yelling, playing, just doing their thing, you know. So I'm, um, you know, putting the back into a ponytail so I can do the front. As you're going to see in a couple minutes, I'm going to start doing the front. And this is where I'm parting it. This right here is going to be two plaques straight back. My hair looks really healthy, but honestly, it's dead it's dead the ends are dead it looked it felt so bad that's why i was like let me just do my hair because it's just horrible like if i didn't do this style honestly you guys i would have cut my hair off cut it off ski balled once again So right here, I'm basically just going to do the plaques like I said I was going to do. I could have did these differently, honestly, too, but I was in a rush, like I said. And I honestly never tried this style before, so I didn't know how loose or tight the plaques were supposed to be. So I did what I did, and I did the locks the best I could do. They came out nice. I, they're still in my head to this day. So, yeah. And then I'm just going to add that braid to the next plaque. And I'm just going to continue that throughout the whole top part of my head the front section and then I will show you guys once I'm done with that what I do with the back So I didn't record what I did in the back. I apologize for that because I told y'all I was going to show y'all. But 
I basically did like four braids in the back. This is the tricky part though because the tool that I used, I've never used this tool before. I've always found it so difficult to use. So this is me struggling trying to add this braid into my other braids instead of like sewing it or putting a rubber band, which I did and then I did take out because I finally learned how to use the tool. But this is me struggling for about mm, five minutes straight, honestly. So this is the hair that I used. It is um, five packs of butterfly locks from Amazon. Um, a reasonable price. I got these for $25. It's 12 in each pack. So that's 60 And I really, I, I got the hang of using the tool. I looked it up on YouTube. So this is me basically showing you the last two or three that I have at the top. And then I'm going to go to the back. But you basically just put the end through the hoop. And then you just, you know, tie it into a knot, basically. 